Uh, hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining the webinar today. Welcome to DBSync uh, webinar on a replication. How you can uh, replicate your Salesforce data into a local database. So we're going to show you a complete demonstration and we're going to show you how you can uh, replicate uh, the entire Salesforce data. We need a couple of things uh, before we start up this uh, replicating. So all we need is your uh, Salesforce login credentials. We need the database uh, since I'm using SQL Server which is set up on my system. I'm going to show you uh, the demo on Microsoft SQL Server and you should have the DBSync console which is DBSync Cloud Replication as well as the local host which is localhost 8080. Right? These are the few things which you need to replicate your Salesforce data into a local database. Right? So let us walk, walk you through a small demonstration on the replication uh, product. Right? This is the home page of cloud replication. Here you can see the two options. One is a global setting and one is the managed profile. If you have any settings in the proxy connected to your network, you have to fill in all the details in the proxy settings in case you are behind a firewall in global settings. In managed profiles, would be where you can define your own replication profiles. Right? So let me get into manage profiles and show you how exactly it looks like and how you can create multiple profiles in manage profile. Right? Okay, uh, this is the manage profile screen. You can see uh, this is how it looks like and on the right corner if you can see my screen, if you can see the, see the mouse you can see the profile configured. So I've configured a profile called Test Replay. I'm going to use this for this demo. Perfect. So in Salesforce details, you will need to point it to your Salesforce credentials, your username and the password. This is the username and this is a password. You can select your environment. It can be production sandbox, right? And uh, you can test the connection and save the information. Next is database details. In database details, you will need to provide database username, database password, and select which database you'd like to connect. Since I have selected SQL Server as a database, so I've selected SQL here, and the localhost and the common port is 1433, and I've created a profile in database called test, so I have selected test in the database. In Salesforce Sync object, you will find the entire Salesforce object which you would like to replicate. You can see the complete objects on the left corner. Right? I have selected account as an object where I'll show you the demonstration of the account. In account, you can see the available fields. There are 57 fields here. And uh, if you doesn't want to replicate any one of these fields, you can exclude them with the help of the arrow button. Like I'm just excluding few things which I, which I don't want to replicate into database. So this is how you can do it. Similar way, if you want it to replicate, you can also include this back. Right? So all you need to do is you can save this information. Okay, in uh, notifications, you can assign your email address to get notification upon a run completion. Advanced settings provides processing instructions around how to download non-replicable objects. Under scheduler, you will find the four processes. One is a clean copy. One is update schema, one is Salesforce to database, and database to Salesforce. Clean copy is to download of the selected object. Since I've selected account, 
see the clean copy will help to select the complete account object and sync and in Salesforce update schema which is like refreshing local schema based on what is in the Salesforce so this will help you to capture the data into the schema in Salesforce to database this is an incremental update of data from Salesforce to database and database to Salesforce this is upload data from your database to Salesforce so you can schedule a job every one or five minutes depending on your business requirements Fine. Let me show you the sync right now. So since I have selected the account, I'm going to show you all the four syncs. I'm doing manually here since I'm showing you a demonstration. Uh, in fact, you can use a scheduler to do this job. So I'm going to run uh, the all the four streamers and show you. So before that, let me check if my database contains any data or not. All right. I already have a data in my database, so let me clear this. So let me refresh my database. All right, now I can see there is no tables here. So let me run the sync and show you. I'm going to run the first update. This will help to create the complete schema. So upon all the run completions, you get uh, email notifications. Since you can see here a notification, since DBSync runs on the Tomcat, you can monitor the updates in the Tomcat. Here we go. You can see this is a schema has been captured now. Yeah, this is exactly the Salesforce schema which is captured in the database. Now let's run the second process which is called Salesforce clean copy, Salesforce database. So let me run this process. You can monitor everything on the Stormcat console. Perfect. So here you can see 632 records has been inserted. So let's see. Let's find out in a database. Here you can see the complete data has been captured from Salesforce to database. These are the 632 records. Right. Now let me show you the third process which is Salesforce to database. This is an incremental update from Salesforce to database. Okay. All right, this is a Salesforce. I'm going to select one of the account, make some changes. All right, this is a notification you can see on email you can see it's 632 records has been inserted and every run completion DBSync will notify you through an email. Alright, let me select this account as a test double two double two. Alright, this is the account and I wanted to change something in this account like say like I want to change the phone number
and have saved the number and I'm going to run the third process which is Salesforce or database incremental and you can monitor in the Tom console. You can see one record has been updated. Right. So I have to check that account. The account was let me check that account. All right. This is the account test two 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 two, which I have changed the phone number. This is the account name double two double two, and I've changed the phone number from all nines to one two three four five six. All right. You can see the incremental update from Salesforce to database. In a similar way, you can also, okay, this is a notification again on the update. Similar way, you can also change or edit the content in the database and which will automatically update in the Salesforce. That is called database to Salesforce. So let me show you that as well. So on the same account, let me change the phone number again to all nines and show you how the sync works. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the fourth process which is I'm going to change the phone number from all one, two, three, four, five to all nines to this account which is test all twos. So this is a small query which I mentioned here and let me run this, execute the query. Let me run the query now. The fourth one, which is Salesforce database to Salesforce. And you can monitor everything on the Tom console. You can see one record has been updated from database to Salesforce. Let me refresh this account. You can see the phone number has been changed to all nines. So you can see I've shown all the four processes. Right. And you can also get the notification upon all the run completion. And Perfect. So, uh, so these are the four processes, which is update database schema. I'm going to show this, which is update database schema, Salesforce or database clean copy. All right. This is the email which I was waiting for, which is a notification. And uh, the second one is Salesforce or database clean copy. And third one is Salesforce database incremental and database to Salesforce control do sync control flag. Right? These are the four processes. This is a quick walkthrough uh, on how DBSync Cloud Replication works. So if you have any questions, uh, you, 
you have a chat box so you can uh, send us a question there so I'm ready to answer to you. We have like almost uh, uh, 450 clients across the globe who uses our application tool as well as uh, we have majority of the financial and the banking industries. So, uh, so we are leading in the market and especially on the integration platform uh, with related to you know Salesforce and databases as well as so we have various other products like Salesforce and QuickBooks integration, MSCRM and QuickBooks integrations, and and many more products. So I'm just waiting. Okay, let me see. All right. Where is a company based? All right. We have the company in Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, the head office. Yeah, we do have an implementing implementation team across the globe. Uh, we have a, a development team in Bangalore based and uh, we have an head office in Nashville, Tennessee. We have an office in uh, East Coast in California as well as in uh, West Side in California. And uh, we have uh, most of the development team is based out of Bangalore. So Calvin, do you have any other questions on this? So this is purely uh, replicating your Salesforce data into the local database. Thanks, Calvin. And any other any other contestants, any other attendees, do you have any other more questions so I can answer? All right, so I haven't got any questions more and I really appreciate you taking time uh, to join this call and hope it, this might be very informative. And uh, I'm going to share my contact number, uh, which is 650-242-4494. Uh, you can get back to me if you have any concerns. Thank you so much.